you know people should try the snake just mm. give it a try and um, i feel like if you try it once uh you will you will not go big so just give it a try and see how how you feel about it i have moon snacks investment cc which was founded by uh bruno gimwena an entrepreneur who dropped out of school uh, of military science at the university of namibia at just the tender age of 20 but he did not let that stop him no so he started off moon snacks which is a snack um it's a food processing and packaging startup it, it uses locally sourced agricultural produce other related ingredients from small-scale farmers just to make some peanuts you know make them more enjoyable more tasty and more yummy so the products they are produced and packaged locally there is a focus also on promoting sustainable food production but what I love most about this is that it empowers local farmers and we have Bruno in a studio Bruno good morning yes, good morning how are you I'm fantastic thank you so uh, much for joining us uh, thanks for having me let's start with how you actually got the idea for moon snacks and how did that come about um well like you mentioned i this, i started my first venture after dropping out of school i yeah. actually traveled to another country to do business there so when i was there i discovered this local uh product that uh, was very nice and i figured you know we also have peanuts in namibia of i course. feel like this is a product we can make in namibia <laughs> so mm. it was always at the back of my mind mm. and then when i came back at home and then covid hit my first venture i had to kind of uh kind of cancel it because it was uh, adversely affected by uh, covid yeah so and then i decided let me you know try that uh peanut thing so i, I got some uh conduct in the north i saw some peanuts mm. and then i you know tried different recipes play around with the recipe mm -hmm. and then you know i gave my friends and family to try it and they were like oh, this is brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> no that's the whole, the whole country should try this the whole country should try. No, that's yeah. always your first pull just people around you to just test out um the market how has it been working with the local farmers that's where i'm really interested in uh, no, it's it's been great, man. They've, they've been really helpful in terms of, uh, you know, sometimes uh, most of the local farmers, because mm. the ones we are working with are small scale, most of the time they pro they supply their products on the informal market. Okay. Basically, just people roast them and sell them on the streets and that. So uh, they re be re they've been really helpful in the sense that they uh, they can accommodate certain requests for us because maybe we want a certain grade, we want them mm. to sort them extra, you know, put the extra uh, effort in sorting or not use certain pesticide when they are in their production so that we can buy their Mm -hmm. So they've been really helpful in that regard. And uh, yeah, it's uh, been great working with them. But it's just that the, the supply is not really that enough because Namibia, we are more seasonal farmers. Okay. We don't, we don't farm throughout. And when you are making working with production, you need larger quantities. Mm -hmm. But we are working on initiatives with them to kind mm -hmm. of uh, increase their, their yields, annual yields. And, but apart from that challenge, what has been other challenges that, that, that is really problematic for you right now? And how are you, how are you um, able to, to go around that? Um, some of the challenges uh, we are facing, especially since we are being a food uh, production company, it's more basically standards access to standards certain standards that we need to have to enter uh, certain markets like mm -hmm. currently we are only selling on the on the uh, informal market because mm -hmm. we are still working with uh, organizations such as nsi mm -hmm. to try to develop our standards further and try to develop standards that are specific to our product mm -hmm. and, and also it's just in the market overall and also again um you know access to funding it's a it's, 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 it's a challenge in namibia is a small it's a, it's a small economy mm -hmm. uh so a lot of in the we don't really have a lot of local funders here but they are still coming up mm -hmm. and a lot of international funders are really hesitant to fund you know start from a, such a small country mm -hmm. considering you know the, the, the sales that they will expect to make you know um, um bruno you know when you go into into something like let's you know, when you were at you know the university of, of, of namibia and having to to drop out it can be very very discouraging and very very disheartening what kept you going what kept you motivated what made you go this is not this is this is just the tip of the iceberg for me um basically it's um i think now i, I realize it's my mindset but back then mm. it was like my, my first business i was really you know into it i thought it was going to be the big thing but then uh seven years later i'm here with a different business <laughs> that I'm, I'm doing now so I basically now i just think it's my mindset, it's uh, mindset. I, I, I believe yeah. business is what i'm supposed to do i, yeah. I, I feel like i'm good at it yeah. and uh, yeah it's, it's what i want to <laughs> if, if i'm suffering i'm going to be suffering being business <laughs> not, uh, something else. Th that's when you know that it really is a calling when you're like yeah. come 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 hello high water i yeah. am in this and i know it can be very stressful and very strenuous but i'm sure there are some happy moments can you share with us some success stories that, yeah, um, uh, that you've enjoyed in your entrepreneurial journey um, yeah, there's been some helpful moments. Uh, you know, I, I kind of look at this like a game in a way. You know, yeah. you game, you lose some, you win some. Yeah. And but then when you win some, you really have to be, you know, uh, 
appreciate you uh, appreciate it so that you can it, it keeps you going so mm. those more those more wins that come because in business most of the time there are more challenges especially when you're starting there are more challenges than wins of course but when those more wins come you have to appreciate them so that you can push you through to the next one mm. some of some of them will be like um uh, we recently got funding from the namibia uh, network uh, business angel network okay uh, they, 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 they funded in our business that's kind of just uh help us to kind of gain traction mm. so that we can attract even uh larger funders and mm. we, we, last year we also won um an award in sustainability as hey. well. NIPDP K2 Gen event in Come on now, Bruno. <laughs> Say it with your chest. We won an award yeah. for sustainability. Yeah, you know, and, and being a, a business that they were just started like mid-2022, mid it's, yeah. it's, it's really, you know, those, those wins are really a huge testament that, you know, uh, we, are, we are on the right track. Yeah. yeah. I love, 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 love that for you. Where would you would like to see uh, the business growing? Just, just give us like a timeline in terms of the, you know, um, from here until three years from now, five years from now, this is where I would love Moon Snacks to to go. Um, yeah, uh, what we are working towards basically it's um, firstly we are tra- we're trying to get in the in the, in the big retail stores. We're trying to get okay. in Shoprite, Pick and Pay, Vorman by to- hopefully by the end of the year. Mm-hmm. And we're probably gonna come out with uh, two extra new products again to add to our lineup, different flavors. Hopefully, maybe uh, towards the end of the year or early next year, and then we're gonna. Hope to attract more funding so we can try to expand countrywide because okay. we're gonna be countrywide for hopefully by the end of uh, next year or in, and then in the next three years try to maybe try to tap into uh, other SADC markets like maybe Angola, South Africa, mm. Zambia, maybe in the next three to four years. Those are some of the things we are looking at. Mm. And, and where can we support you? Uh, where can we purchase Moon Snacks? Um, yeah, currently um, we um, we supply mostly to street vendors that sell at the road intersections. Okay. Um, and a few uh, tax shops, but if you we can also ex- get access to them by our um, so social media page, you, you just phone phone us and then you place an order. Uh, turn around time. Lead time is about two two day. Uh, I mean. Uh, 20, 24 hours to, mm-hmm. to, th- to 36 hours so we can also deliver in that regard mm-hmm. so yeah but m- m- mostly where we're distributing now is, is at uh, um, street 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 uh, street intersections and all that give but us the socials Bruno yeah uh, you can get us on uh, Moon's Next uh, mm-hmm. Investment uh, PTYLTD okay and and if we want to call and I want to put a big order who can I call um, you can call me uh, myself mm-hmm. on 081 uh, 75 mm-hmm. uh, uh, 655 uh, 34 34 that's 0817565534. Yeah, I'm pretty good. <laughs> and there is some um so for for those of you uh, that are on our socials please uh, you're going to see uh, the the pic we're going to put some some pictures of of the moon snacks as well as well as the 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 interview cuz uh, he has some some snacks for us that we can try out. Uh, Bruno is there anything else you'd like to add before I let you go? Um um yeah, I feel like um you know, people should try the snack. Just mm. give it a try. And um, I feel like if you try it once, uh, you, will, you will not go back. So just give it a try and see how, how you feel about it. We, we really try to put emphasis on quality and also safety. Our, our you know, production process, uh, even though they are not yet certified, we are working towards that. But mm. they, are, they, are, they are really thoroughly and well managed. Our uh, quality control is in place and everything. And yeah, we are welcome any collaboration, mm-hmm. anybody who tra- wants to, who think they can add value to uh, to the business and the, in the startup and the community that we source from mm. in any way, they can always uh, get in touch with us. Bruno, thank you so much for coming. Thank you again and I me. wish you all the best. I mean, you're already an award-winning <laughs> entrepreneur with an award-winning business. So I'm sure from here on out, the sky's the limit. And uh, and we're here for it, definitely. Thank you very much. That was Bruno Ngimwena, who is from Moonstack Investments. And please do contact them on their social media. They are Moonstacks. And you can just uh, call them on 081-756-5534. Expert advice on 99FM Startup, proudly brought to you by Namibia Asset Management.